Hello, I'm Aubrey Shepard with John Rule. We're going to look at pictures of monarch butterflies and compare them with viceroy butterflies. These two are very different in many ways, but very similar. First, though, you're looking skipper. at a dog pain. Yes, <laughs> a skipper on a dog bane plant. And a dog bane plant is similar to a milkweed, but it's not a host plant for a monarch. It's host plant for some things. And this is a monarch? That's the monarch. And you see it's like nectaring on dog bane. But if it lays eggs on dog bane, which is similar looking in many ways to, to um, milkweed, those caterpillars will simply die. They don't. They can't feed they on can't it. They can't feed on it successfully. <laughs> they might try it if their eggs were laid on it. Now, I've heard that occur sometimes, but I don't know. That would be a, a poor mother who would lay her eggs there. So all these are monarchs so far. And, and where is the dark line that you're you, you, you see no dark line on this one, except the ones you see. Right. <laughs> But we're going to see there's a different shape to the bot, the wings. And the wingtips are dark. Yeah. Well, they're all, you know, it's, it's, they're a lot alike in that. But so far, we've seen nothing but monarchs. Right. And uh, still more, more monarchs. These are hanging together better than I expected. I thought they would jump around more, John. But anyway, you're getting good looks at monarchs. That's a male monarch. No, so, it's not. No, 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 no. This is female. So these are different specimens you're, you're not no these are all the same from the same day these oh, monarchs yeah so you don't know whether this is one monarch or that's or? one yeah that's all one the same one we're I seeing see. okay i just take a lot of them when i get a chance they're just not this many they're just rare yeah no i, I make thousand or two thousand pictures a week right uh during the summer like this right. and, and uh, you know i'll make 50 pictures of the same critter if I, it'll sit still and I did that in this case. I well, you've done beautifully. So we I got see. about 16 of these or something maybe. That's great. On here. Okay, look Still. closely at the body, the wings, and you don't see any lines across. Now, do you see a line that goes, in this case, vertically, an extra line right in here? Okay, yes. You see that? Uh -huh. That tells you that that is a what I call them? Viceroy. Viceroy. And it's on something that's not its host plant at this t in this picture. Yeah. Uh, it's on buttonbush. Uh -huh. And buttonbush grows, in this case, it's on a buttonbush that's right next to a, um, excuse me, you can see some of the buttonbush flowers on there. All right. Right next to now see that line it goes across between the uh, wings yeah, right. all the way across from at, across the bottom of the rear wings uh-huh and uh so it's it's really easy to recognize once you get that particular item in mind and get that close but when you get, and get that close yeah but when they're flying around yeah. but the key thing in here it's not nectaring on its host plant this time right it's nectaring on button bush, which is a water plant, right. just like willow trees. Right. And willow trees are the plants that this uh, viceroy has to lay its eggs on okay. for them right. to succeed. Now, there are some other, a few other host plants, uh, similar it, related trees, right. but mainly it's all about uh, the willow tree. Are they the same as button willows? Yeah, that's what you call a button willow. Is a, yeah. is a, a right. uh, well, I knew it was that bush. down south, uh -huh. in Arkansas. Yeah, they were, and then we yeah. still have the. Is this just one viceroy? One viceroy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I see when when you find a butterfly or a bee or something, hanging in there, nectaring, right? Even though it's moving around a little, yeah, it's not going to leave that plant that it's really happy right. about. So you right. can get this close. Right. And you can zoom down on them, and then I, I start by zooming, and then go. Now, here's a milkweed, uh, Sclepius viridus, with, and we've seen a lot of these already this spring. And of course, it's uh, Sclepius viridus. And this is some kind of grass. Do you recognize that? Some kind of grass. Oh, no, I don't. I don't recognize Look how shiny and pretty it is. 
I beautiful. don't remember ever beautiful. photographing this. Before. No, I, I, I don't. I'm not sure I've seen it before. But it's growing just south of Ball Stadium on the field mm. of former prairie, yeah. which still produces a lot of prairie plants in the summer if it's not mowed. Uh huh. And that's just off Razorback at uh, 15. Mm -hmm. This is a short green milkweed. Yep. Asclepius viridis. I mean, Asclepius viridiflora. Okay. Okay, John. Till next time. Hope everybody got something. You can watch this over and over again and identify those monarch type looking butterflies. See ya. Sphinx moth or something. Clear wing moth. Uh, Beautiful. Hemeris definis. A clear wing. That's, yeah. yeah. Okay. Thistle? That's thistle with a flower fly on it. Yeah. And. There you go, a little closer up, it's cropped. And this is a hair streak butterfly. I see the streaks in the back. And I didn't, I didn't, yeah, they're tiny. Yeah, sticking out on the back end. Right. And it's on the milkweed, uh, the tiny milkweed, uh -huh. Sclepius. Uh, this is beautiful. Verticillata. Right. And this is, this butterfly's host plant is the common uh, cedar tree. Juniper? Uh-huh. No, we don't. It's called a juniper hair streak. Uh-huh. And in parts of the country where there are actual uh, junipers that are called junipers in the other parts of the country, well, the junipers usually grow on limestone blocks. And those two butterflies, I think, are, are I mean, those two insects there seem to yeah. be uh, mating. Oh, you said it. I, I didn't want to say the word I was going to use for it. I see. Uh, anyway, the, the uh, <laughs> okay, that's a fuzzy thing that uh, I can't identify, but I've seen it in the book before, and other people have shown them on, on uh, the Internet. And I don't, don't know it. It's not toad, toad flocks or something. No, I don't, they're just names to me. Yeah. I haven't mastered uh, them yet. And it's probably in in that book. I'm sure and this it probably is, is too. Yeah. Okay, look here. Here's our tiny passion flower. Yes, yes. I cut a the top off a passion flower vine this morning without realizing it. Oh, really? Yeah. It's one of the, it's just a big one, though. A yeah, big one. Well, yeah. you got a lot more than you have these little ones. The little ones are hard to find, even though they're probably just as many. Well, they love the shade more, don't they, or Yes, something. they do pretty well in the shade. They do better and, than And that, that blossom probably no larger than the, your, the ball of your thumb or yeah. something like that. Your whole, your whole in your thumb. Yeah. Right. There's a tiny bug I couldn't identify, and it's, it was in my backyard, and... and um, Got a few pictures of Quite it. Quite colorful. Looks almost like a Harley Quinn bug. Mm, okay. <laughs> and well, you can name it really anything you want, because I, I haven't had time to look it up, and I haven't posted it. I don't it either. Somebody it's... else did. But it was quite friendly, you can see. Well, is that so, is it soft? It hasn't hardened? Uh... Well, it's so hard. I don't know. It just walk yeah. around gently on I it. see. This is button bush. Right. Beautiful. Button willows, as my dad right. called them, and you, you heard it. That way too when you were a kid, right? And uh, of course, this button bush there is adjusted to try to brighten up the color a little, and it might be a little extreme job I did on it. There's a whole patch of button bushes, and that uh, I'm seeing something like similar to that uh, with lar with large blooms on these dripping bluffs. Yeah, the well, they, they grow right. out of a, right. a wet bluff, and they. And, and also along the creek. I think a year or so ago, I showed them to you on ditches down I south. I think you there. did, yeah. yeah. Here's one of those this. bad things that goes on on the weekend, on the 4th of July weekend. Oh, and it's, a cone flower. Yeah, it's somebody's, uh, <laughs> somebody was shooting fireworks, a bunch of people down on the Pinnacle Prairie Trail. Right. And here's some more of our little yellow. Yeah, um, with the, not, the leaf not deeply indented. Right, mm -hmm. yeah. This is Aubrey Shepard and John Rule saying, Goodbye. Take care of the woods and the water and the air. See ya.